guys, it's Laura Lemer, style unique, mind geek, overall on fleek. Welcome back to the dot 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 as a Neopet series. This is a series where I take famous figures and make them into one of the Neopet species. Now for this episode, it's going to be a little bit different. I was looking at old artwork specifically from a couple years ago when I did the Inktober series. For this specific season, I took evil characters as well as some Halloween villains and made them into Neopets. When I was looking at these pictures, I really got inspired, particularly by this one drawing I did of Pennywise, the newer Pennywise specifically. I drew him as a mohawk and I really liked the way that he turned out overall. Therefore, I thought it would be fun to draw him again. For this drawing though, I'm going to be, as they say on TikTok, adding a little spice. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned before, I am drawing the more modern version of Pennywise. I do enjoy the Tim Curry version as well as just Tim Curry in general, let's be honest. But I'm sticking with the modern version like I did in my first drawing. So the overall process I take when doing this is drawing the rough line art traditionally and then drawing out the rough line art digitally, and then I refine the line art off camera. Now, unlike with my previous character designs, I'm not gonna do a full body shot, and the reason is that I had this specific kind of creepy way I wanted to draw him for Halloween, rather than just drawing a character design and having them sta him standing kind of plain, I wanted to draw him super creepy, kind of looking down on you, like he's going to eat you. <laughs> As I continue working on the line art, I go from the face to the hands, getting all the details down, and I really start thinking about, man, this sketch is kind of creepy. I know you don't really see it right now, but you'll see it more towards the end. And I start thinking about how clowns in general are creepy. I'm curious to know, what is your opinion of clowns? Let me know in the comments below. I personally think that they're creepy. I'm not necessarily terrified of them, but they're definitely creepy. Like, I wouldn't go up and hug one in person. I think it's because of the It movie that I'm terrified of them. I remember watching the 1980s version with Tim Curry, and the shower scene in particular is terrifying. I think it's the whole fact that he's coming out of the drain and the fact that he's literally like trapped in there with all the showers coming and then you just see this clown pop up. I think that's what did it for me. It really did. For this specific drawing, I really consider it a glow up, although it wasn't that long ago that I drew the Pennywise as a mohawk picture. I find this piece to be a major glow up, and in the end, I'm really proud of the way this piece turned out. So now, as you can see, we refined the line art. I think it looks really good. I went with a thicker pen to add some more dimension. And so now we're gonna go ahead and color the base colors. For the colors I chose, I picked them straight from Pennywise, from the hair to the skin color. And I didn't really edit the colors at all. Thank you. 
for the whites of the eyes I did make them yellow I wanted him to, to appear more sickly I thought that would be more creepy and I think that they do that in the film as well his eyes aren't like bright whites they're more of like a sickly color so as you can see overall my process for coloring this is coloring it manually again I know I could fill in with the filling tool but there's something about just coloring in manually that's frankly a lot of fun and I just enjoy it even though it may take a little bit more time For the mohawk hooves specifically, I wanted to incorporate that still in the hands to really keep that Neopet element. Although they're big and bulbous and kind of clunky, I feel like they also at the same time look like claws. So it really adds that whole I'm not really a human type of feel, which I think is really important because Pennywise is obviously not a human. He's just shapeshifts to look like one. And then even then he doesn't really look like a human. So now we're into the shading portion. What I typically do for the shading is I start with the soft shading and for that I use the airbrush tool and then I do the hard shading off camera. For this specific picture, I am generously applying the soft shading. The reason for that is because I really want it to look really creepy and dark and he is a figure of darkness right he is a monster he eats kids like Pennywise is a creepy figure so I really want to emphasize the creepiness in this picture the light source is essentially coming from the bottom to really emphasize that you're as a viewer looking up at him and he's looking down at you and again it just really creates that creepy power dynamic as I'm shading the horns, I think to myself, I'm particularly glad I made the design choice I did with the horns. So for those of you that have seen the 2017 uh, Pennywise, you know that the, he essentially has those red lines on his face. Well, I took those and essentially just made those his horns and kind of mimicked that design. And I think that works out really well because it overall makes the creature more threatening. I think if I had just kept the traditional mohawk tusks, that it definitely wouldn't have been as creepy. some stuff off camera and BAM! Did I scare you? Probably not. Anyway, now we're on to the highlighting portion of this video. Like with the shading, I take the highlights, use the soft airbrush and put those in. I don't highlight too much in this picture. Really, the tusks are really what need to be shiny as well as the hair a little bit. I do put in some hard highlights too, but very, very minimal because I really want this piece to be dark. Now for the background, rather than just make the background black, I am essentially going to put a square behind Pennywise as though he's like emerging from this void behind this black screen and I thought that would be a really cool kind of creepy way to showcase him like I said versus just having him stand there in a plain pose like I usually do and we picked the color for the background and we're done I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite pieces this year I love the way this turned out. I think the shading is really cool um, and I also during the process really just kind of 
let myself go, let the perfectionist tendencies go and just went with it. And overall, I think he turned out really nicely. I think it's definitely a glow up from my last drawing I did a year, a couple years ago, and he just looks so creepy. It's also a lot different from what I usually draw because I draw more like cutesy, cartoony type of things. So I also sometimes like to draw some of the creepy cartoony stuff too, so this was particularly fun for me to draw. I had a really nice time during this whole process, and I hope that you all enjoyed it as well. If you like this picture, go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps to support my channel so I can continue doing what I do. I will be back in a couple weeks with another Halloween related episode. Halloween is my favorite time of year. I hope it's yours as well and I hope that you're enjoying the spooky season. Well guys, until next time, take care and remember, watch for the monsters under your bed.